Hey everyone, Total Level here as I'm here at the Calgary Expo 2023. Hey everyone, how's it going? Total Level here. So yeah, a bit of a fun special video for you. So through the end of April, I went to the Calgary and you know, Comic Entertainment Expo, whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, Calgary Expo 2023, we'll just call it. And <laughs> yeah, lots of fun, you know, a lot to do there as, yeah, pretty, you know, was a big, lots, or uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> it was a bigger show than kind of the last couple years, just because, you know, 2020, right? Like, they didn't have one in 2020, like it was canceled, then I went to the one in 2021 just for a day and yeah there wasn't too much there which was understandable then last year they opened it up a bit more and this year yeah it's starting to get back to where it was and was a ton of fun this year and <laughs> yeah lots of celebrities like you got the voice of Ash Ketchum or I should say the second voice you know of Sarah I always forget her name <laughs> last name but yeah which Wonder when the English dub of kind of the finale for that will come out. I'm not sure if it already came out. Like, I don't know, but yeah. And there was like Sam Raimi, which I did stay to watch his panel and everything. And yeah, Hayden Christensen. There was uh, yeah Andy Serkis, uh, Lou Perigno, Danny Trejo. So yeah, pretty cool names. I didn't get any autographs or anything like that, but I did walk around, you know, in the celebrity area just to see all the people there, right? To be basically just say, like, well, I never met them, but I did see Danny Trejo in person, so... <laughs> yeah, pretty cool stuff, and yeah, what I think I'll do is I'll first show Kai a mini montage of kind of the stuff that was there and, you know, some of the cosplay now. I have to say, I do apologize because I'm terrible at filming at these things because I always forget to film, basically. Like, I'm so entranced by the expo, I'm looking at everything, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I should take out my phone and make a little video on this, and I only record for like 30 seconds at a time, and then it's like, okay, move on. And the other thing is, I'm always a little anxious about filming other people that are there because, you know, even though when you buy the tickets, like, there's definitely a consent that they, you know, the vendors or kind of the people who run the event can use your picture for social media and everything like that, but when it's me just making a YouTube video, I'm always a little weary about that, so, yeah. <laughs> I do apologize, I am probably one of the worst people to film at these expos, conventions and all that because, yeah, I'm always anxious and too, I just plain forget because I'm just having such a good time there, right? And, yeah, what we'll fun and, yeah, so we'll do that and then I'll show you what I picked up. I also will mention, like, for the video games, I'll just kind of, I didn't pick up much and, because I've been behind on videos, like, there's so many videos I have to do. This one, I have to do uh, games I beat in April still, because through the expo, I didn't film anything. Like, I didn't do any videos. That's why there's no shorts right now, because I might take a break on the alphabet thing for a little bit, try different shorts, kind of, you know, maybe hidden gems of mine, you know, as shorts, or I kept thinking of possibly doing the... Worst one minute reviews actually as shorts because then it would fit in the one minute reviews or stuff. So, yeah, there's that. There's growing up gaming, which, yeah, I have like the bullet points for episode three, but I haven't filmed anything for that. And, uh, yeah, there's so much that I have to do. So, yeah, I am behind. So, yeah, I didn't record any gameplay. So I'll save that for when I do kind of my next pickups video, so everything that I picked up, which is only six games at the expo, I'll just show the gameplay for that pickups video, just so you know, so... Yeah, most of this montage is just going to be looking at kind of what people are 
selling along with, you know, some cosplays I was able to take pictures of, or Kai taking pictures with a couple people and all that, so yeah, again, there won't be much, I apologize, so <laughs> hopefully I'll do better in the future when I get more used to doing all this stuff, but anyways, enjoy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed all that, and yeah, let's just dive right in because I rambled way too much in that <laughs> intro, so yeah, we'll start with the games, and yeah, for this expo, there were a good number of vendors selling games, but not that many. Again, before 2020, there were a lot more, but yeah, I think it slowed down a bit, plus the expo is a lot of comic books, right? It's very superhero heavy, or if you're 
you know, so the action figures, the comics, like, there's a lot there for you if you enjoy that stuff along with, you know, Star Wars stuff and then a good number of anime, though the anime is more the current one, so there was a ton of, like, Demon Slayer, Spy X Family, stuff like that. There wasn't a whole lot of older stuff because I was hoping to get some uh, Death Note and Full Metal Alchemist stuff, but there wasn't really anything there, at least that I could find, and which is okay because I found quite a few other things, so it might have been good to not find those so that I could save some money, save, <laughs> because let's face it, when you go to these expos, you don't save anything, <laughs> you know, but that's, to me, that's sort of the fun of it is, you know, you find vendors that have good prices, other vendors that sell things for a bit more, and you kind of win and lose at these expos, I find, which, you know, that makes it fun for me, it's fun to go in person, see everyone, their smiles and all that, there were quite a few miserable people, I will say that, which is just like, why do you even go if you're going to complain, right? It's just... Yeah, but anyways, for games, we'll start, so Vita, 25 bucks, we've got Virtuos Last Reward, so... I love the Zero Escape trilogy, I played the whole thing, but I don't have the physicals, I have, like, uh, <laughs> physical for, uh, Zero Escape PS4, the third one, yeah, Zero Time Dilemma, that's what it's called, and so, yeah, cool, and plus Vita, I don't have many Vita games, so it's pretty cool to add that, and 25 is around what this game goes for, so not bad, and this one I've actually been looking for, and it's kind of funny because it's basically shovelware, but I love Unreal shooters, and I hear decent things about this one. It's Ghost Squad, so yeah, I kind of kept holding off on this game because, yeah, it's, uh, like I see it a while on eBay, but people usually price it for around $20, $30, and this one got for $10, and yeah, it is... You know, complete, and... Also, Blockbuster sticker on the back! <laughs> so, yeah, looking forward to checking that out. Then, on Dreamcast, a game I was looking for, which I'm glad to get, even though this is very multiplayer heavy, you know, the single player stuff is basically against bots, but still happy to get. And Dreamcast, I have, like, no Dreamcast games, so... Quake 3 Arena, 25 bucks, which again, I think that's about what it goes for, but yeah. Really cool game, it takes a while to get used to because I did test this game out a little bit, but, uh, yeah, again, I'll save the footage, you know, for the pickups video, like I said, but yeah, I, after a while, you kind of get used to it, I still lost my first match, but, you know, still really cool to get now. This I was really happy to get. I do have the HD version, but on PS4, but it's really cool to have the GameCube one and it's Resident Evil Zero as 15 bucks, which is really cool. Now part of that is because of how uh like yeah, you can see the cover art's also kinda messed up and yeah, the sleeve or whatever, like plastic, yeah, it's Little banged up inside is perfectly fine, like the manual, all that, but yeah, that's part of the reason why it's 15, but still 15 for complete. Not too bad since I usually see this game go for 30 or 40, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And then Dreamcast, really happy to get this one too Resident Evil Cold Veronica. This was a bit more expensive, 45, but again, for Kanda. That's not too bad because I see this game go for around this $60, $70 range, so yeah, and I love this game, like again, I <laughs> played, I want to say the PS3 version of this, but yeah, I really enjoyed this, hopefully it gets a remake like all the other Resident Evils, we'll see, but yeah, I find this one in the series very underrated, and then a wishlist item of mine, and I couldn't believe, like, the price for this. <laughs> so, I love, kind of, way forwards reimagining of this game, as I played it on PS4. I think the first release was on Wii, but I won the original NES, and it's a boy and his blob, $30. So, <laughs> yeah, really, really cool, because, and, yeah, I'll just show, so, yeah, you got... Uh, 
want to just grab all that, so yeah, got, yeah, the game with the dust sleeve, and yeah, it has a few stickers on, and there's some dust and dirt that I can easily clean off, and then, uh, get the manual here, so, yeah, really cool, I love kind of the Indiana Jones font and all that, I did play this game a little bit because I was so excited, this has been on my list for NES for so long, and I see this game in Canada go for over a hundred, right, so, really happy to have this one, so, that's it for the game, so, yeah, um, let's start with the collectible, so I bought, like, the ultimate, kind of, pass or whatever, so, yeah, it came with, like, this little, <laughs> you know, bag to carry around for all the things you buy in here. <laughs> also came with a Superman comic in here. So if I can quickly just get out. I won't really show it. Like now I'm not big on comic books. You know, uh <laughs> like I used to collect them a lot, but then it just got a little too expensive for me and I probably won't be able to get this in safely so I'll just put it to the side for now. <laughs> and then the last one we got Green Lantern Lithogram so fortunately I did not like how they uh, packaged this because you can see here uh, yeah like it's sort of bent and everything and yeah you can really see it on the back there, which, yeah, I didn't like how they packaged this, it's, you know, kind of bendy, and yeah, just, that was a little disappointing, so I think next year I'll probably just go for the regular four-day pass, you know, rather than the, <laughs> um, the ultimate, and then, yeah, the final thing it came with was this made by robots, uh, knit Batman, which, it's a pretty nice, you know, little <laughs> figure and all that, but again, I'm not sure it was worth, like, I think it cost me an extra 20 or 30 bucks to go for the ultimate 4-day pass, so, yeah, I think next year I'll just go for the regular 4-day, <laughs> you know, but, ah, sorry, man, trying to, <laughs> uh, move and all that, but that's okay, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll start with the plushes, so, yeah, I got Happy Fairy Tale plush here. <laughs> Mainly because I don't really see these in Canada anywhere, you know, you would have to go on, like, Amazon or eBay, and I'm always like, well, do I get knockoffs or what, <laughs> things like that, so, yeah, not too bad, and, yeah, cool to have a little happy plush, too you know, display, and then this was really cool, so they had these little crane games at, uh, the expo, I'll show a little video right now of those, because, yeah, those were really neat and all that, and on the final day, they probably, actually, well, I was going to say, yeah, final day, I tried them, but, yeah, I was going to say final day, they would have added Pokemon, but they might have added Pokemon before, <laughs> I'm not sure, and, yeah, so, I got, you know, five tries, three Pokemon, so yeah, I have three, three out of five for Psyduck, Storlax, and Squirtle here. Squirt! Squirtle! Sayayayayay! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and they'll keep Cyndaquil company, I think, on my couch there, so, yeah, because Cyndaquil's a bit lonely there, aren't you? <laughs> You can see him, like, yeah, right, <laughs> right there. <laughs> okay, uh, and then speaking of Pokemon, which I wasn't even looking for Pokemon, but man, they had some cool little figures just for display, and these were super cheap, and they were really nice to just get in display, so we got, like, these little Pokemon box figures here, so yeah, I got three of them, they all come with like different ones, so over here you can see like Ampharos and Mew and Flygon and yeah, on 
This side, yeah, you got like the Lar Ponyton, Pikachu Eevee plus a line in, and yeah, on this you got the original Eevee Lucian, so you got Eevee, Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon, and for this one you could get like, uh, yeah, Squirtle, Chipan, like, I think that's his name, I can't remember, Bonsai, and yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Pikachu, and on the other you got Lugia, Growlithe and uh, Frostlass, so yeah, and the ones I got because they're all mystery ones is I got Frostlass with a cherry blossom tree here. Very, very cool. <laughs> you know, they make nice little displays, so uh, yeah, and we got Ampharos, and yeah, and then we got the Sleeping Eevee and this container now I'll show a picture or video so yeah like you can see them a lot easier but man they were just really cool really cheap and yeah really enjoyed those ones so yeah that was really cool and then moving on we got a couple other figures so yeah we got a uh, attack on Titan Levi here along with Dragon Ball, you know, Piccolo, so this is from the Super Series, now I haven't watched Dragon Ball in forever and people tell me if you watch it again or whatever, do not watch the Super, it's kind of throwaway, but, you know, the Piccolo, like 25, Levi, yeah, 33, so, <laughs> yeah, I'll show them right here, so, here we go, and Piccolo, so, yeah, pretty cool, and yeah, nice little, you know, <laughs> displays for my cabinets and all that glass cabinet, so yeah, really happy with that, and then more cheap ones, which I think these, kind of like the little Pokemon figures I show, I think these make nice little gifts, so we got little kind of glass, or shouldn't say glass, or more like a plastic, right, with kind of just, yeah, stencil and all that, where yeah, you got these LED lights, so yeah, got Sora, Kingdom Hearts, and Umbreon Pokemon, and then the final one I got was, yeah, Triforce Zelda, so again, I'll show video of, like, each one lighting up and everything, so yeah, pretty cool. The only downside I find with those ones is the fact that... <laughs> The cords they give you is like half a foot long, so you can't, you know, you can't go anywhere with it, right? So that's a bit disappointing, but oh well, you know. And then <laughs> we got the final two, so. Ah, sorry. Trying to grab my little keyblade here. So, yes, we got <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Uh, steel, metal, whatever, guy keyblade here, and yeah, the Mickey Mouse chain, so yeah, this was really, really cool, and <laughs> yeah, I'll show another, like, picture of me holding it so you can see it a bit better, but oh, I'm making a mess and a lot of noise right now. <laughs> uh, let me put that there, but yeah. Really, really cool. I love that. And then the final item, another sword. <laughs> final Fantasy VII <laughs> Buster Sword. So yes, this thing is as massive as the game. Now this one is a hard plastic, and again, I'll show like video of it somewhere. Probably not me holding it because it's just a little too awkward to hold. We'll see. Maybe I will, but it, uh, yeah, it's just a really cool thing and I kept thinking you know maybe next year like if I buy cloud stuff throughout you know the coming months and all that like probably start with the wig and then buy kind of the clothing later on and all that I might actually cosplay as clouds because I think that would be a lot of fun and I have <laughs> I don't quite have the Mako eyes but I do have blue eyes so it might work for me so yeah, um, something to look forward to maybe for next year, so yeah, that's everything. Like I said, I had so much fun, and again, I do apologize for my lack of 
filming and my bad filming because I know I'm not very good at this, but still, I hope you enjoyed, and again, I had a lot of fun doing all this, right? It's just so much fun to be there, and it's been a while since I've been to any sort of convention and everything, so it's really cool to get back, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for, yeah, other videos I do here. Right, thanks everyone, bye! <laughs> Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, or if you just want to see any of my skits and then nothing else and leave the video, that's fine too. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care.